is a case robot and today we're gonna see how can we find um, uh, sold properties or um, expired or cancelled suspended properties um, or unavailable properties which are not available uh, on the list right now in Toronto MLS so let's dig in uh, this is Toronto MLS let's go into search properties So as you can see, as you can see, we are in the dashboard. We go to the listing side here on the top and and press search. As you can see on the dashboard, um, we have residential freehold, we have residential condo, commercial, available, unavailable, sale, lease, sublease, and archives. So let's say we are looking for a property which we want to see if it was sold uh, in the past. Uh, or how many times it was sold or was there a listing ever made in, in that uh, in that address so so let's assume it's a freehold okay and you want to check it out so we're going to check residential freehold uh, we're going to put unavailable so we're going to uncheck available and we're going to ch check unavailable and imagine we are doing it for sale although it's the same for lease or sublease okay and this time I'm not going to check include archive listing so as as you see as soon as I check this unavailable this comes up which means that if you're looking for a property which was uh, done which uh, this the record is there for more than two years then you need to check this include archive listing so first we're gonna go with uh, unchecked and see if we can find it in the last two years if not then we can select this one so now I've checked residential freehold, unavailable, sale, and I'm gonna go ahead and continue. Uh, same thing, area, I'm gonna choose Mississauga, that's the area where I work, but you can choose any. Uh, and uh, I know Mississauga City comes in Peel, so I'm gonna put Peel, and then Mississauga, okay. I can choose a community if I know if it's in a certain community. If not, then I'm going to just keep it uh, blank here. Okay. Um, let's say if I knew the address, if I knew the address or at least I knew the street number. So let's say in this case, I know the street number. I'm going to put 6183. 6183. Now, to, just to demonstrate, I know this, this, uh, this address. And as I can see, as soon as I put 6183, there's then uh, I can see there's one property. Now, I can keep adding more information or I can just go ahead and click and see if that's the property. But let's say, in my case, it was 6182 Duford. So I'm just gonna put Duford, okay? And as I explained before, I just gonna put the first word of the street, okay? Um, and as you say in 6183, I put the minimum at 6183, maximum at 6183, and due forward. And I can see there's one property listed. And if I submit it, I can see that this property was listed one time uh, for 6183 due forward. And it was listed and was sold. And I can see all the other information. So imagine if I go back all the way and I want to see how what was the history of this property over the last 12, 20, 25, 30 years. So I click residential freehold, I click unavailable again, unclick, uncheck available, and now I'm gonna go and click this include archive listings. So if I continue, I can go back and do peel, and city I'm gonna put Mississauga, Okay, and now I'm gonna put the same address, 6183, 6183, due for drive. And as you can see, there are two, there are two, um, there are two records. And when I go back, I can see that this property was once sold for uh, 1570, okay, was sold in, 2021 for 1570 if I go back I can see that this property was also sold in 2000 
for 313,000. So I can see that this property was, um, so I can see all, all the records for this, this property. Okay. Now we can use the, the sold or for uh, other than, for other reasons as well. So we don't need just not to find the record, but other, uh, for other reasons too. So let's say you want to find out properties which were sold in the last uh, 30 days. Okay, so let's say you want to see how many properties were sold in Churchill Meadows, which is a community of Mississauga. So I'm going to select Churchill Meadows. And then I want to see what, how many properties were sold in last 30 days. So I'm going to come all the way down to last update. And I'm going to put T minus 30. Now I can put an exact date or just put T minus 30, which means today minus 30, so last 30 days. And also, as you can see, it says last status. I can go and select sold here, okay? So I can see in the last 30 days, there have been 27 sales in Churchill Meadows, Mississauga. If I want to screen it down and I want to see how many townhouses sold in the last 30 days, and if I select townhouses, it gives me four townhouses. If I want to check how many detached were sold, I can just select detached, eight detached, semi detached. If I want to see how many semi detached, it will give me. So you can select any any criteria, and it will give you uh, that criteria. The reason for doing that is that a lot of time your client will ask you, you know, my house is listed, it's not selling. Can you check what sold in the last 30 days or in the last seven days? So let's say if I if, let's say you've listed a semi-detached and your seller asks you what what sold in the last seven days. Okay. And you can go back and say, okay, you know what? There have been nine sales or nine uh, semi-detached sold. Okay, and the highest was, and the highest was 999, so the highest was still 1240. And the lowest was 999 and then you can relate to that to that one property which was closer to your to your listing and see if you're higher or you're on uh, on the same price range okay so this will give you uh, another another uh, another oh, an another cool feature here is that if you want to see how many properties were terminated I mean you know they were listed but they they were terminated in the last seven days just to see you know what's 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 getting terminated you just select terminated from here so as you can see that i selected terminated same thing t minus seven terminated semi detached mississauga church and meadows and when i put submit it gives me those properties which were terminated okay so any kind of records you want to you want to get you you just do it i'm just going to recap um, recap and do it really quickly again so let's say i go to search i go to this dashboard i select freehold or i can select condo and then unavailable instead of available and uh if i want to see more than two years then i just select include archive listings and then i come forward and i can see all sort of um sold expired or terminated listings I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if there is anything I can improve, please uh, let me know in the comments. Please subscribe to my channel, and thank you so much for watching.